Oberon gets on level turns. They're getting serious now. Son of D-Day about to get into the clear, starting to run on Walnut Hall. She's running on as well. Merlot very wide. Combat zone gone. Lord Oberon goes to the lead. He's in front by three metres. Son of D-Day down the outside. He's coming at Lord Oberon. Son of D-Day. He's coming at Lord Oberon. Pokes his head in front and Son of E-Day. Oh, Lord Oberon kicking back. Son of E-Day got there by a head. Lord Oberon second. Third, Walnut Hall. Then Combat Zone in front of Merlot. Then Milwaukee Minda. Katari Burns, Alina Roan Tiger. Edward William was last of all. all right. Well, we had a good battle. All right, Smarty. <laughs> you had the soft option. You're sitting behind the leader. I did it tough. Three wide to the death. For us, it's no good. I think that was an the enormous The money said run. I could win, and I did. Oh, I didn't see that, actually. You caught me unawares there. But, uh, OK, all square on the tats, Lalo. But I tell you what, I reckon your, uh, your heart was sort of beating pretty quickly there on the line. Good, tough uh, effort for the second horse. I think he's going to be back to... Uh, it was uh, a much better run. Form. The second horse was a much better run than the winner. I would have to concede that. It was a good run last start. He was a good last start winner, Lord Oberon. I, I did give him a good chance. 5.40. He was actually a 5 to 1 chance, so Lord Oberon, from 9 to 2 to 5. So the winner was back from 5 to 7 to 2. She's followed the money, but she's got the last laugh. Good value. $5.90 and $1.90. So 7 to 2 and paid 5 90 Hope you were on. Second was number eight, Lord Oberon, around 160 for the place. And third was number nine, which was Walnut Hall, 14 to 1 chance. Should pay around about $3 for the place, so there's some value for the trifectas. OK, let's have a look at the next of the valley. It's the Dimitina's Restaurants, Pace's Handicap. And, uh, well, restaurants is plural because I think the Dimitina family have got three restaurants in uh, Ligon Street or thereabouts in Carlton now. I think Paul's in uh, cahoots with a couple of his mates from the, uh, from the Western Bulldogs. I think They've there might got be Il Gambero. Oh, hello. She's a diner too. What about <laughs> 292, the wine bar? Haven't tried it as yet, but it sounds nice. And uh, also Dimitina's, of course. So you've got 292 Ligon Street, 306 Ligon Street, and 215 Ligon Street. Don't let Bobby Kane know we're doing this, because he'll uh, really think we're on a rort somewhere along the line. Let's have a look. Uh, there's John Keldo on screen at the moment. Let's have a look and see what the market tells us here. If, uh, what putters on track think can win. Max Strike, of course, is, is John's drive. The max strike there at $128 or 132 is an extreme outsider. The rank outsider in the field. I thought this was one of the hardest races of the evening, actually. It's a 3,020 metre standing start race. Very open field. My numbers were 2, 12 and 7, but I think there are plenty of other chances. Kid Me Not's been very unlucky throughout Interdom. He uh, was going to run a very good race two starts back and galloped in the home straight. Last start got beaten 12 and a half metres behind Deke Sky. That was over the flying mile from the mobile. I don't think that was really a suitable race. And his first run was uh, eight and a half metre fifth behind Koyama Kid at 100 to 1. This is a much more suitable race off the front line. I think he's got a terrific chance here. And at $7.30 and $2.50, it looks like good odds. Second selection is number seven, uh, number 12 rather, Cigar. Uh, should be better for that run uh, when sixth behind Yule Star. That was, uh, of course, after he had that uh, illness problem with a uh, viral infection. I think he's going to be improved by that. He's been a little bit disappointing this preparation since coming out uh, from New Zealand. This is the stable mate of Christian Cullen. But he might be ready to improve, and I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. And third selection, number seven, Day of Rain. I think uh, Robbie touched on uh, his recent good form. And this looks a suitable race for him. So 12, 2, 12 and 7. I thought Kia Fella, the pole marker, could definitely improve understanding start conditions from the good draw. Sheffield Mark, number five, is racing in very good form. Winbro, if you forgive his last start failure, don't know too much about his standing start form, but his form from a mobile was very good. And Luca Verl, of course, is the other very good chance in the race. His interdom form has been uh, very solid, including a second behind Courage under fire. He's definitely one that uh, needs to go into consideration. Very open betting race. Uh, just to make mention, uh, Sheffield Mark was actually the horse judged the best presented in this event for the Strappers Award. Betty Lewis was the strapper. She strapped the horse for her daughter Donna and also her husband Dean Lewis who co-trained the horse. Which is interesting to note, Wenbro, of course, uh, tonight uh, being driven by uh, Lance, Lance Justice. Lance Justice, that's right. Um, and he prepared the horse in South Australia. In fact, I, I've got a sneaky suspicion. I reckon he might have a share in the horse too. Could um, perhaps... Uh, possibly be so. Karen Manning has obviously elected to drive Lukeville. He is one of her favourites. And perhaps because of the problems they had with the horse last start, he pulled very hard and galloped. Uh, they've gone back to Lance Justice as a second string driver, perhaps because he knows the horse so well and can maybe mend his manners. Well, he might be over here to help celebrate the Interdom victory by his brother too. 
Well, he might be, They're and the other tight. thing I guess one wonders is maybe the horse might be going home. They're pretty tight, the boys together, uh, the Justice Boys, and it was uh, a wonderful interview this morning on Keith Hillier's program on 927 when they uh, highlighted John Justice and uh, his efforts to win the Interdom. Son of the day, five, oh you can read this out, this hurts. $5.90 and $1.90. Lord Oberon second, one sixty. Walnut Hall third, $3. Thirteen dollars seventy for the Quinella, $40 even for the Exacta, $181.50 for the Trifecta. And the running double races two and three, $102.70. All right, let's go to Dan, they're away. Donna Lewis, away they go. Firstly of the quaddy now, missing it was Prince Marauder. Uh, getting away quickly, Kia Feller and Sheffield Mark begin quickly as usual. Into third position now was Winbro and over on the inside was Kid Me Not, who's running fourth out of the straight from Bags and then came Day of Rain, Luke of Earl. Outswingen getting up along the inside next has hit the spot, then Prince Marauder, Max Strike Cigar and 10 metres away last is Anvil Star as they turn out of the straight. Sheffield Mark with that brilliant beginning in front, Kia Feller second. Uh, Winbro going up closer to the leader and Day of Rain's off and running now out three deep. Going around Kid Me Not away from the pegs and three back the inside bags. Further back to Lucaville going forward as Winbro and Day of Rain both driven harder going up to tackle Sheffield Mark. They're putting the speed on now. Kia Feller five metres away fourth the inside. Sheffield Mark at the moment holding out Winbro. Day of Rain has to ease back and now ends up 1-1. Kia Feller behind the leaders and about six metres away then to kid me not Lucaville has left out three wide over on the inside bags and then Prince Maruda out swinging back to the pegs a couple of metres to Cigar then Max Strike and hit the spot trying to get in but kept out three wide by Anvil Star at the tail end. Into the straight they've had one lap and Winbro races outside Sheffield Mark. Lucaville still parked out three deep. Over on the inside trailing the speed is Kia Feller. Day of Rain in the 1-1. One -one. G. Lucaville is going to have to sit out three wide for a long portion of this race again. Then kid me not. Over on the inside bags. Prince Marauder midfield down on the inside of it out swinging. And then Cigar and Max Strike and the other two at the tail of the field will have Virtually a horse with eight legs because they've locked wheels, Anvil Star, and hit the spot. And finally, now they've been able to break that locking of wheels, but they're 10 metres off the bunch. Anvil Star losing ground as they turn into the back. They go to the 1600 metres. It's been run at a really good speed, too. Sheffield Mark on the inside of Winbro, who's pressured it. Third, the inside Kia Feller. Day of Rain 1 1. And poor old Luke of Earl has had to do it extremely tough again. He's three wide and reined up. 149.9 the lead time. That's very quick. Now, midfield, we've got Bags, who's Three back the inside of Kid Me Not. Prince Marauder outside out swinging and then Cigar around Max Strike. Ten metres hip the spot and Anvil Star. Something must be wrong. He's dropping out on the way he's going. He's going to be pulled up. First quarter of the last mile in 29.9. Winbro, can he keep going? He's done it very hard. They've gone at an extremely fast speed. He's pressured Sheffield Mark, who still retains the inside running. And Lucaville's had the hardest run in the race. He's been three wide the whole way. Leaders back is Kia Feller. Between runners, Day of Rain. Cigar coming out three wide. Has cover now for the last lap. Then Bags, three back the inside from Kid Me Not. Out swinging, four back the inside of Prince Marauder. Hit the spot. Max Strike, Anvil Star tailed off. 800 metres to go. Second quarter, 32.3. Sheffield Mark, a metre and a half to win, bro. Kia fell up third. Day of Rain fourth. Lucaville sticking on. He's been three wide the whole way. Cigar has the trail up into the race. Three back the inside bags. Kid Me Not needs an out now. Then hit the spot out swing and held up on the inside of Prince Marauder. And Max Strike. Sheffield Mark, 500 to go leads. Winbro under pressure. Lucaville three deep. Kia fell up behind the leader. Cigar right there, about 10 metres off the leader. As Lucaville went to second. Day of Rain trying to get out, then hit the spot. Bags, kid me not. And Max Strike off the back in 30.3. Sheffield Mark led. Kia Feller gets out. Cigars right up there with him. Hit the spot running on from Lucaville. Sheffield Mark on the turn led. Cigar after it. Kia Feller trying to get clear and hit the spot. Cigars in front. Hit the spot. What about this for a run? Cigar in front. Hit the spot coming at it. Cigar in. Hit the spot. Hit the spot. The outside end. Cigar. Cigar and hit Hit the spot, they hit the line, hit the spot. Well, there's a giant of a run. Hit the spots, wanted a nose cigar, third close. Out swinging and Kia Feller. Then Day of Rain, Prince Marauder, Sheffield Mark and Max Strike. Kid Me Not, Lucaville and Winbro. Bags and tailed off Anvil Star. Third quarter, 30.3, final split in 30.4. Well, thrilling finishes of the order of the night here. You'll find he hit the spot at any old odds. On the outside, I think, 
Danny's confident that he's got it. The semaphore board shows us, yeah, yes, that it has got it. Yes. 14 by a nose in front of number 12, Cigar, who at the top of the straight just didn't seem to want to go on. I, I feel Cigar isn't quite over that virus. He just, he's passed two runs, he's loomed up and looked all over a winner and hasn't quite, I mean, you can't be critical of him tonight, he's only gone down by a nose. But he just hasn't quite got to the line. I'd say uh, he's still fit, just feeling the effects. Perhaps it's just the fitness aspect of what he lost while he was out with that problem. Kia Fellas got third. Where did Simone Walker come from? Let's uh, replay the tape and see uh, where well, the winner has come from. Wasn't she a part of that horse that were, had eight legs? I think Danny mm. called it when they locked wheels out the back. Of course, they were uh, running brilliant sectionals up in front. I think that's hit the spot coming wide following Cigar yeah. into the race actually. At one stage he was 10 or 15 metres off the second last horse when he found that trouble. She's trailed Cigar to the home turn, taken the horse wide at the top of the straight and he's uh, gr kept grinding and grinding all the way down the home straight and finally got the better of Cigar right on the line. It was certainly a terrific run, no question about that, and another who appreciated the dropping grade after contesting the Interdom heats. And he wasn't disgraced on a couple of occasions either. He only got beaten eight and a half metres behind Zuganoff Lees, which was a good run two starts back. Here's Robbie. I'm joined by Simone Walker. We've hit the spot and on uh, the four weeks of the carnival, that was nearly the biggest run of the carnival. You had no hope after uh, about a lap. Yeah, well, we had a little bit of a tussle at the start um, with Anvil Star, but um, after we got the trial up on Cigar, I was pretty confident if you could take me around the turn. Well, uh, just throughout the Interdom series, you've had uh, no luck with the barrier draws. You've continued to draw to second row, and tonight, uh, I suppose, when you looked at barrier 14 in the field of uh, 14 over 3,000, you probably didn't give yourself much chance. No, I didn't, but then 12 months ago, I never thought I'd be in the interheat, so I made it there, so never say never. What a uh, horse he's been for you, Simone. Uh, he's been the only horse you've trained. And uh, uh, considering uh, just over 12 months ago, you, you, you've suffered that horrific fall and you've come back and you've won on Inter Dominion night. Yeah, well, he was there with me when I fell, so we've been through a lot together. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'll let you enjoy it in a moment. Simone Walker with Hit the Spot, which has a super performance. He was back last and he's got up to win right on the last bound. OK, Simone coming back here and here, uh, yeah, tremendous performance. Uh, Robbie quite excited about it as well too, saying that it's probably one of the biggest runs of the carnival. Of course, they did lock wheels out the back and I suppose if you're on, you turn around and think, well, hang on, I've done my money. Well, you would have just about ripped the ticket up, but uh, he's got the money hit the spot and good luck if you found him at $48.80 and $8.90 for the place. $1.80 for Cigar, Kia Fella $3.80 for the place. Penella for 14 and 12 paid $92.60, $147.20 for the exactor. Trifecta's a big one, $2,477.10 and the running double for 6 into 14, $41.40. Lap and a half to go. Let's have a little bit of a look here. There's a freeze frame we'll find here of the two horses. Uh, now they've unlocked. Now he's got to be, what, one, two, three, probably five lengths off the back of Cigar there. Certainly at the tail of the field and when you've got uh, 13 horses or 12 horses in front of you, um, it would look a pretty ominous task at that point. But again, it was a horse aided by the terrific speed throughout the race, like the uh, junior driver's race and Troublesome Fella. When mm. they are running a genuine pace up in front, the horses from behind have the opportunity to make ground. Yes, I just wonder whether Simone thought at one stage there, well, look, I'm just in this for the trip, actually, uh, <laughs> that far from home. Interesting uh, to, uh, to have a look um, at this uh, horse returning back to, uh, to the saddling enclosure here. Um, and as Robbie touched on before, of course, Simone got dumped here at Mooney Valley. And uh, when she said she was lucky, she thinks she's lucky to be in the Dominion Heat. She's probably lucky to be out there driving. And they touched on that in the uh, in the interview as well, too. With I think what a couple of broken wrists, a rebuilt knee. There wasn't too much uh, that was going right for her at one stage. She had some horrific injuries, and I think it's great to see Simone in the winners' circle on Interdom final night. Part of the good crowd here tonight that are enjoying Interdom 2000, and uh, we have a look here at Albion Park with six.